Hey, it's Chloe Demir of Save the Victor Roll. Um, today we're going to be doing something different. We're doing hair. If you want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Hey, 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 how's everybody doing? Um, today is a little bit different of a video. Um, we're going to be doing hair. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on victory rolls. Um, this one was uh, specifically requested from Amy Louise, MUA. She's also on YouTube and I'm one of her patrons and uh, she's pretty fabulous. So you should check her out. I'll link her below. Um, so yeah, we're going to do some victory rolls today. So the supplies you're going to need is, of course, hairspray. Um, you're going to need a brush, a comb, curvy grips, and if you'd like, a hair flower. Okay, so there's several different ways that I do them. Um, I usually, my hair is growing out a bit longer now, but usually I have a bit shorter hair for curl sets, and I always have a deep part. But you can, if you want, go and do your victory rolls from a center part. So we'll do that today. Now you can, there's different ways that you can do them. You can have them so that they're more forward and then I like to clip them or you can have them that they're a little bit more back. So let's see what we start off with today. So um, what I find is always best to do um, hair on not freshly washed hair because when your hair is freshly washed, it's a little bit more limp and it's a little bit harder to keep like a firm hairstyle. So I usually like to try to do this on second or third day hair, or if you do want to do a style and you've just washed your hair, dry shampoo and back combing can help a lot as well. But I washed my hair yesterday and I had my hair up yesterday, so it's got a bit of texture to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split to the front of the ear and then have all the other hair from behind my ear in the back. So we're split like that. And then I'm going to bring it up and then I'm going to kind of put it to the back a bit. Then I'm going to take my comb and then I'm going to back comb. Smooth the front a little bit. But you don't want to smooth it too much because you want to keep the body that you get from back combing. So then you can use your brush and you can smooth it out a little bit, but like again, don't do it too much or you're gonna lose your back comb and you're gonna lose what makes your hair sturdy. And then I'll take a little spray to add a little bit more hold. And there we go. So let's start with a backwards roll. So if I, I take a couple fingers and then I wrap it around to the end and then I kind of pull back a bit and then I turn it and then it'll sit like that. So the more hair you, you take or the more you back comb it, the bigger of a curl or a victory roll you can get. So you can do them like that, that they're a little bit back and out of the way, or you can do them up front. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit more hair. And then I'm going to again, give a little bit more of a back comb, but a little bit more now towards the front because I'm going to do the other style. Then it, for the other way, same thing, taking two fingers, wrapping it like this, and then rolling. But then I roll forward. So then when you do it forward, you have it like that. And then you're going to take one of your Kirby grips, bobby pins, and then you're going to stick it in. I put it as close to the bottom as I can and then to try to hide it. But if you don't, like I said, I'm not, I'm not to that um, fussed about it anymore, but I do still try my best. And then I have a phrase that I like to use and it's caves, not tunnels. You wanna make sure that you cannot see through the back to the back. So traditionally they're more like caves, not, not tunneled. So there we've got our first one up. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You just go split it out from behind the ear. spray. Again, another little 
little bit of a smooth. And then taking the two fingers, we're going to wrap it around. And then pull it forward. Roll it down and pull it forward. Like so. And then just like before, you take your curvy grip. And then you can slide it in underneath, trying to hide the pen. So there we go. So then you've got some traditional forward facing, oh, it's getting warm here, forward facing um, victory rolls. Another thing that I like to do, and I find that it helps to anchor them, especially if it's like a little windy outside or if your hair isn't, um, say it is a fresh wash and you just do a little bit of back home so it's not, doesn't feel as sturdy. I just take one more, then I pinch my two rolls together, then I stick in a pin and then it anchors the two together. Like so, and then like so, and then I would spritz my hair and then we would be done. But I think let's go and do again the ones that sit back. But this is what it looks like when you do the forward facing rolls. Okay, so on to the next clip. And we're back. I just wanted to take my hair down and not have to have you sit through it. So now we've taken our hair down again and you can see like when a hair has been styled a few times or it's not freshly washed, you have a little bit more volume to work with. So now let's do the ones that sit in back. So it's the same thing. I'm going to split my hair. I'm going to take it up and I'm going to back comb it again because I brushed, I brushed out the, um, previous back comb. And this time I'm going to try and do it quite heavily because I want to try and make a thicker roll. The example from the first clip of a back one was a little, a little wimpy. So let's see if we can get it to be a little stronger. So again, taking the two fingers, wrapping the hair around, and then we are going to roll it until it's sitting like so. And then the same thing, you're going to take one of your pins and then you're going to stick it in to hopefully get it to hold down. My hair is a little, a little fly away today. Like so. And then if you want to anchor it so it stays more sturdy, you can take a second pin and then what you're going to do is you're going to come in from a different direction and cross the two pins together. So they're crossed like that and then that usually gives you a little bit more anchoring. So we're going to go in, see where it is, and then I'm going to go and anchor it in. There we go. And then I'm able to make it sit up a bit more and there we go so we've got the one like that you can if you wanted to just do a single one you can stick a flower in or we can go and do another one which we're going to do right now hold on I'm just going to put a little more hairspray and if you are learning to do these don't get discouraged it can take a little bit to get the hang of it some days they work better than others um, my first ones that I thought were, I was happy that I got them to be rolls were actually backwards. <laughs> so I had a good laugh over that, but I was so happy that I kept the rolls. I kept it up. So we wrapped it around our two fingers and now we are going to roll it. And then there we go. And then we've got another victory roll that sits more into the back. And the same thing, take a pin. And there you go. And then same thing, if you feel that you want to anchor it, you can just take another pin, find out where it is, and then just cross another one through it. And there we go. So 
So depending on how you part your hair, they'll sit differently. Depending on how much hair you take, they'll set differently. How your hair is doing that day. I don't think I've ever gotten them to look exactly the same <laughs> several times in a row, but there we go. So let's do that. Um, other things you can do is you can put your hair up if you want, you can have it down. And then if you want, you can also have the addition of a hair flower. So you can see where you want to set it and then you can pop in a hair flower. And there you go. You got some victory rolls. What do you think? I hope the instructions were clear. And uh, if you try it, let me know. Tell me if you're successful or not. But remember, it does take a few times to practice. Remember, caves, not tunnels. And that's it for me. But, oh, wait, I think we have a little bonus clip. Hmm, check it out, why don't you? Alrighty, bye. Okay, here's the bonus look. We're going to do a suicide roll, um, which is a favorite in um, rockabilly culture. Um, not as much in traditional pinup, but definitely more in the rock and roll. So here, just like with victory rolls, you need your hairspray, you need a comb, brush, Kirby grips, um, bobby pins, and if you want, a hair flower. And here we go. So what I usually do for a suicide roll is I just part my hair, just almost like you would with victory rolls. I do it from front of my ear. And then I take all the hair up like so. And then taking a comb, I start to back comb. So I do the first little bit without hairspray to kind of get it started. Then, I t then I'll take a little hairspray. And then I finish off with my brush usually. So it's best to do it on um, day day old hair or I find that sometimes the last day just before I wash my hair I get some of the better rolls but I washed my hair today so we're just gonna have to um, do a little bit more back combing I think than usual and then once it's kind of thick like that I give it a little bit of a smooth and then we start to roll it down so taking a couple fingers we roll it like so and then we start leaning it forward There we go. This is actually not too bad for fresh washed hair. And then I just make sure to smooth it all forward into the roll. Maybe a little bit extra hairspray. Again, smooth some more. And remember our motto, caves, not tunnels. And then you're gonna take one of your little Kirby grips and then you can stick it through. I try to do my best to put it in a way that you can't see them, but if you do see them, I'm not that precious about it anymore. When I first started, I was always more concerned if it wasn't as neat or I would see a pin, but it doesn't bother me that much anymore. There we go, and then we'll give it a little bit more hairspray. And then if it's feeling like it le it's not as stable, then you could just take another pen and then I try to find it, feel where it is. And then if I can cross the next pin into it and then it'll make it a little bit more sturdy. And then I just smooth the top. There we go. And then if you wanna stick in a hair flower, I'm wearing a pink skirt, so I will have a pink flower and it also will match my Splenda earrings. And then we'll just go like so. Maybe even one more spritz to the tape. We want it to last all day. And there we go. How was that? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? There we go. That's our bonus suicide roll. Alrighty.
Have a great day. Bye. So thanks for watching our little tutorial video on victory rolls and our bonus of suicide roll. I hope you enjoyed it. If you um, give that hair, these hairstyles a try, let us know. Um, hopefully the instructions and the video was clear that you can also create these hair looks. Um, and that's it for me today. I hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, if you would feel so inclined, if you'd like to give us a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. Um, maybe even hit that notification bell. Um, if not, that's okay. We can still be friends and still talk about makeup. Hey, and even some hair. Alrighty, have a great day, great rest of your week, whenever you're watching this. Okay. Bye for now.